Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. So actually today's gold market as your currency has completed our scenario that we have prepared. So on your currency it was the hand and shoulders where market has completed the OP on the uh, gold market. This is XOP target that we discussed uh, in the weekend. It's also has been completed and it's a uh, background for taking the long position. Everything goes just fine, at least until the CPI numbers will be released. So currently everybody expects weaker numbers. And maybe this, uh, well, is reasonable to suggest because we are now is getting just an information and, and an inflation uh, reflection of the period when the Fed was uh, moving rates higher. Currently we do not have yet effect of the recent liquidity injection that we will get within a few months probably. And today, indeed, so we got the num numbers for the March, and March is also has the lag uh, to the real economy and real situation. So probably, indeed, we could get some slower inflation, although in the midterm perspective, we suggest that it will turn up again. So anyway, uh, currently, from technical point of view, gold market shows nice bullish performance. So with this gap opening down, we have pullback up from the trend line. It's nicely looking action. So uh, this is normal pullback retracement for the butterfly patient. As we suggest, market has to show at least the 30% retracement to respect the 127 target. This has happened. Overall performance here is not really very fast. We do not have any collapse and something of that sort. It's moderate pullback. It's now we're testing and, and we see the attempt to move higher. On the hourly chart, drop was precisely to the area that we have discussed. A, B, C, D, X, O, P. And uh, bottom has been formed right around the XOP and 1995 area that we discussed previously. So here, as you could see, currently some a bit wide confluence 1981, 1994 trend line support the ABC XOP agreement area market turns up. So if you haven't taken the position as we suggested here, just watch for a second chance and you can see, for example, here we could get head and shoulders. So this market will show some minor pullback here. You could consider it possible taking the position against these lows. So that's um, for those of you who are considering taking the long position, we like to buy gold around this area. For the bears, uh, currently it's not many things to do. It's because we do not have uh, here the clear bearish signs. So we need some more powerful uh, bearish context to make the decision on the, some short term reversal at least and start watching for deep downside action. Currently, we do not see it. By the way, the recent performance of the gold that we see currently, this maybe it will provide some, um, well, take out our concern on the euro accounts. So there it's a bit more bearish picture than on the gold. But, well, maybe euro currency will find some power to change the situation and keep going higher. Because reversal on the euro currency from the points that we have discussed has happened. But right before this reversal, the drop was too strong. And that's why we're a bit concerned about immediate upward continuation. So we will see. But on the gold market, you can see that in general, everything stands normal. Just uh, if you haven't taken position, just watch for a possible hand rolls pattern here. And well, let's see what will happen.